What are your expectations for Sunday when you get before your congregation? What are they? Um, Mine, I've already told you, are simple. Psalm 22, verse 3, God is enthroned on the praises of his people. Um, And I know whether there are just a few of us or a few hundred of us, God has chosen to be there in the midst of us. I was uh, leading worship at this um, um, conference. Uh, it was a it was a um, like a seminar uh, at Regent University at CBN, and there were about uh, twenty people in this master's class. We were teaching on worship, and in the on the Tuesday night, they opened up this this uh, little theater uh, that seated about two hundred people for uh, a time of worship with Don Moen. So. Uh, I got out there and and um, and walked out, and there were about ten people, ten people in the auditorium that seated two hundred. Uh, so it was like, uh, wow. So I had a couple of um, uh, choices here. I, I could have acted like I didn't notice that, but it was so obvious. You know, there were two people here, two there, one there, one back there, one over there, and it's like, uh, okay. Um, I can see they really love Don Moen here. <laughs> it was like this. I, I just said, before I started, I said, hey, can we just talk for a second here? I, I want you to know that I'm aware that there are only 10 people here tonight. And I'm also aware that this auditorium seats 200. So it looks weird. Now, I'm, I'm inclined to say Let's all move to the front row here and, and come right. But that's going to feel weird. Um, and, and you're going to feel weird. So then I'll have one row of people. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. I'm also aware that you're going to feel sorry for me that there are 10 people in this uh, auditorium of 200. And uh, you're going to want to applaud after the song. And I know... You're really saying, poor Don, poor Don, he needs some support. So you don't have to applaud. Um, I'm aware that there are 10 of us here, but here's what I, I'm not going to have you move. Stay right where you are. But here's what I know. Psalm 22, verse 3 says, God is enthroned on the praises of his people. You are his people. And as we worship tonight, he is going to come and dwell in the midst of our praises. And you know what? People got relaxed. They, they we, we got that out of the way like talking about the elephant in the room. And we had a beautiful time of worship. And God did it, did inhabit our praises, okay? So those are my expectations. God has promised to inhabit the praises of his people, Psalm 22, verse 3. Uh, what are God's expectations? How about that? Uh, um, I think God's expectations are every time we come together, he wants to speak uh, to his people. He wants to uh, heal he wants to save. He wants to deliver. Uh, he wants to provide for every need. This is what this this is the nature of God. And you need to understand when you come together in worship with a congregation, those are the you're trying to create an atmosphere that welcomes the presence of God and gives place to His marvelous works. That's what we're trying to do. Just create that moment, and it might be ten seconds. It might be. 20 or 30 seconds in the middle of a, of a 20 minute service, but just that moment for people to touch God's presence. Uh, that's, that's when you need to get out of the way as a worship leader, let God do what he wants to do. And again, that's healing those who are sick, delivering those who are oppressed, providing for every need, bringing encouragement to those who are discouraged, bringing hope to those who are hopeless This is what happens. And you need to, as a leader, you need to expect these things to happen when you come together. You just need to expect them, uh, expect healing, expect people to get saved uh, in, in the middle of your worship time. Why not? 